Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I want to talk about the Brave Browser. The Brave Browser, that's exactly right. It's a great, great product that I've been using for like the past couple of weeks uh, solidly. I first tried the product about uh, June 2018, and uh, it's something I want to talk to you about today because I feel it's very important to convey why I'm switching to this browser, and I actually don't see any reason why I'll ever go back to Chrome to Firefox or any of the other browsers out there. So what is Brave and what makes it so awesome? Well, I have a blog post over on buona.tv slash blog. You can check it out. I go into gratuitous detail as to the, the three main reasons why I think this browser sets itself apart from all of the competition. Uh, and those pillars are privacy and security. Number two is performance. And number three, it supports content creators on YouTube, on Twitch, and on blogs. So that's what I do for a living. So I obviously was interested right away. So the first thing you notice is on the website, if you go to brave.com to download this, and I'm going to put uh, one of my affiliate links down there. If you want to support me and my content, click on that link and I'll get credit for it. You are not a product. And uh, if you've ever seen some of my older videos about, you know, getting off Google and that kind of stuff, it's, it's like a lot of privacy issues with some of the modern applications and browsers out there. You're tracked and your privacy information is sold to the highest bidder. So their mission is to fix the web and they want to do it in multiple ways. They want to restore your privacy and they want to fix what's wrong with advertisement. I'm going to put links in the show description to, to kind of give you an overview of what they're talking about. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to repeat it here, but there are some great videos and some content that the company has put out to kind of educate us as to why they feel that the web is broken in these areas and why they feel that their solution is there to fix it. So starting off with privacy, I, I'm a big advocate. I'm a I'm a big advocate for for privacy. Um, I don't like sites tracking me without telling me. Number one, I don't mind being tracked if I know the the scope of everything and what's going on with that. But a lot of companies these days they track you and they don't tell you what they're tracking. And most importantly, they don't educate you as to what their intentions are with the data that they're tracking you with, uh, what their intentions are. Um, and, and a lot of companies, you know, most notably in the media for the past year or two, has been Facebook. They've been, you know, they've been, they've been getting hammered. They've been the face of the opposition. But a lot of companies are still doing it, and they're, you know, they're making a lots of money off of your privacy information, and you have no clue that it's going on. So I'm all for tools such as, you know, ad blockers, in a sense that they protect your privacy. I'm all for tools like uh, Ghostery and, and uBlock Origins to protect your privacy. Um, I, I, as a content provider myself, I have mixed feelings about blocking advertisements because that's how you make money. Uh, and that's how I believe you should make money if you're providing content for free. I think advertisements are a good way to do that alongside you know solicitation from your viewers and stuff to uh, to, to, to basically support you like Patreon and stuff like that. But I really believe that we need to change things the way from what they are. And this idea, uh, came about from cryptocurrency called blockchain. And, uh, it's a big, big, big buzzword. And I've even joked about it that everybody's just screaming blockchain for everything, but blockchain, it really enhances the idea of distributed distribution of information and no one entity owns everything kind of like one of the core principles of open source software and open source technology and that kind of stuff which i'm a big proponent of as well so brave is leveraging a blockchain based digital advertising called basic attention token and it's called bat for short uh, without getting into too much detail, because there's a ton of information that they have provided on their website, both in audio, I'm sorry, both in video and in text form. It is a great way to reward people you watch automatically. And the key word here is automatically. A lot of times you want to support people that you watch, whether they be YouTubers, Twitch streamers or your favorite blogger, what have you. You want to support these people, but sometimes you just get caught up in life and you just forget. The idea of basic attention token token is that based on your attention, how much time you spend watching these content creators, that's how much you will reward them in a the form of this currency called basic attention token. And again, I'll link the video and also uh, some other information about that so that you can get more information about it. And I really believe that this is part of what is going to make digital content creation 
fair for content creators and also fair for companies that want to support uh, content creators. So the idea is simple. You download Brave, you watch your content provider, whatever they're doing, a blog or, or, or a Twitch stream or a YouTube video, and you automatically give them basic attention tokens or BAT. Now, how does that translate to money? Well, through the wonders of a company called Uphold.com, which manages cryptocurrency and allows you to convert that into real money, the publishers, as Brave calls them, can convert that BAT into real money. So once you give me, say, 10 BAT, 10 basic attention tokens, that translates to, I believe, like a dollar and something and, 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 you know, in real money. So as a publisher, once you tip me or once you give me that basic attention token, I can then convert that to real money or I can turn it around and use it in the community as a reward or something. Um, this is a great way. I, again, this is a great way to to reward people that you actually pay attention to. It's one thing to to say that you support someone, but when you actually watch their content, when you actually read their blog, you know, that's your attention being spent. That is your currency as a content consumer, as a content provider. You know, I get rewarded from your attention and they have converted this using blockchain, this attention into a currency called BAT. I think it's one of the greatest ideas I've heard in a long time. So why did I go away from this browser? Why did I why did I leave it back in June when I first tried it? Back then it was it was a little slower. It was the performance wasn't up to par to what I wanted to use. It was slower than Chrome, it was slower than Firefox in some ways. And I liked the idea behind it, but it just didn't get my attention uh, you know, in terms of performance. Ever since December, I believe it was December of twenty eighteen, the company has moved towards Chromium. And it's a Google list Chromium, in case you're wondering about it. They have a they have a page dedicated to all the things they've removed from Chromium, in case you're wondering uh, if they've kept some Google things in there. And since they've moved to Chromium, performance has been better than Chrome. It has been faster. It has been lighter. It has been snappier. And I can't be happier. This is one of the main reasons why I don't see myself going back to previous browsers that I've used in the past because I think performance always was a thing. And then there's another thing with extensions. This browser, Brave, supports Google Chrome extensions out of the box. A vast majority of the Chromium or Chrome extensions work. I haven't encountered any that I use that don't work. I have LastPass. I have, uh, uh, what are some other ones I have? I have some of the, the, the Twitch extensions like Better Twitch TV, Franker Faces, uh, some PDF extensions, uh, some things that have to do with my community. Some, some, I have about five or six that I use. I'm not a big, big user of a lot of extensions, but the ones that I use work in Brave. And that's a big, big deal. Uh, and I think as far as a user is concerned, I think as far as you're concerned, I think that's going to be a big, important thing as well. So the way you can use Brave is very, very easy. Um, like I said, you can do it automatically. Just have it automatically supply BA2 to your favorite, favorite content creator. But say if I go to twitch.tv slash one, I can go over here and I can click on the the bat icon or the reward icon. And you can see what your wallet is. In my case, I have nine bat, which is a dollar and 15 dollar, 15 cents US dollars currently. Now, it's very important, right underneath that, it tells you that I'm a Brave verified publisher. So you just can't give back to anyone and they can receive it. Okay, they have to be verified through Brave. And this is a very simple process to get verified uh, if you're a content provider or what they call a publisher. So I am a Brave verified publisher. And I, they've included in the latest version the ability to send a direct tip. So if I want to send this wonderful Buona guy five bat, I can click the send a tip button and do that. But the beauty is, is that what if I don't want to have to deal with that? I can just leave this checked here, include and auto contribute. That means that it's going to automatically include that particular person, whether it be me, whether it be somebody else, it's going to include them in the automatic contribution date. And it tells you when the next date is and how many sites you support. And through these, this interface here, you can add and remove different people that you want to support through this. I highly encourage you to keep tabs on this. That way you can only support people who are verified and make sure that your BAT is going to the right people. And you can also send direct tips if you wish to your favorite content provider using this system of brave rewards. And if you don't want to use any of this, you can turn it off 
with a switch of a button. If you just want a good secure browser and you don't have to worry about all this BAT stuff, you can turn it off right here in the, in the user interface. So again, I love Brave. I don't think there's, I don't think this is going to be the last video I'll talk about it. I can go for hours and hours, but I highly encourage you to try it. Uh, when you try it, they give you, I believe, 40 bat uh, as a gift. Uh, so what you can do is you can try it. And if you like it, you can give that bat to any of your favorite current or your favorite uh, content providers if they are verified. There's quite a few people verified, but there's uh, sadly, there's no real easy way that I can find to determine who is or isn't a a verified provider unless you click the bat button, unless you can see if they're a provider. Hopefully Brave will be adding something like that in the near future. But I got to tell you guys, I'm head over heels with this browser. It does so many things right. It protects me. And it supports me as a content provider and it allows me to support other content providers out there that are doing a good job. And the, the people that I actually watch will get rewarded. The people that I don't watch will get rewarded, but not as much as the people that I watch. So my attention is actually being paid. Pay attention. This is Buona from Buona.tv. This is the Brave Browser. Click the link in the, in the description. Download it today. And if you like the video, please click the like button and also click that subscribe button and smash the bell smash it hard really hard that way you'll be notified when i create new videos thank you for watching that's the brave browser get it got it good